Hey babe, so today is self care Sunday and I love to do my own press on nails. So right now I am just putting on some dehydrator on my press on nails just to give it like a little dry effect because I don't want it to be too shiny or whatnot. But I decided to come on camera and do my nails because of course, like I said, I do press on nails, but I've been noticing that my press on nails been damaging my fingernail. So I'm about to switch it up. So I had to show y'all. I ended up getting these nails off of Amazon, which is Flossy Nails. They are coffin shaped, so if y'all are looking for some clear nails, definitely holla at Amazon. All of this stuff is actually from Amazon, um, but the nails is really, really nice, and they are hard. They're not like really soft or nothing like that, so it's a good price. If I have the link, I will try to drop it in the description box, okay? The nail polish that I'm going to be using is from Amazon as well. It's a temperature changing color polish and so it depends on like your body temperature and then it would like change colors like a lighter purple darker purple but also gives the ombre effect depending on your body temperature and also I did use a base polish first of course I have to use that before applying the gel nail polish so I'm just polishing my nails and you're just gonna watch me go through it for a little second and I'm gonna be right back light is also from Amazon if I find these links y'all I will definitely make sure I put in the description box um, except for this little nail holder of course you know Amazon does have it but I ended up getting this off of Shein um, right now I'm just looking at some little um, jewelry for my nails to see what I'm gonna go with because I'm trying to do like an accent nail but I don't know we're trying to see what design I'm trying to go with I kept the nails under the light for about 60 seconds and then I'm just going back doing a double coat. I left the nails under the UV light again for another 60 seconds and now they are dry. So now I'm just going in with my base coat for my accent nail because the base coat is going to be used as glue so that my rhinestones can stick. And then after I applied my rhinestones, I'm just putting it back in the UV light just so that it can cure. After another 60 seconds, it is stuck like Chuck, the rhinestones. And now I'm just going in with my top coat just so I can go ahead and finish up my nails or the first set because now I got to do the other ones. And now after another final 60 seconds, the nails are done. They look super duper cute. Now, of course, they look pretty light because, again, it's temperature changing. So when you're warm, you're going to get more of a lavender look. And then like when you're cold, your nails are going to have that darker purple. But it is super duper cute. And I'm going to also show you all how I apply my nails. I'm going to come back when I get done with the other half of my nails.
So I completely forgot that I was doing an accent nail. Ended up polishing almost the whole nail. So now I'm using acetone so that I can try to wipe it up, y'all. But I made a huge mistake because I tried to wipe up the extra fingernail polish. I ended up wiping the vanity. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, and look how quick that was. That paint wiped right up. So now I gotta paint my dog on vanity. So y'all, please do not put any type of fingernail polish remover on your furniture because it's absolutely gonna mess it up. All right, so now my nails is all done. And as you can see, you could tell how the ombre comes through or how the color can change on the nails. So I'm also showing y'all, I don't know if y'all seen just now, but the indents in my thumbs. And that's what I was talking about earlier where I feel like this is coming from the glue, okay? So I'm about to show y'all a method where you do not need any glue to apply a nail, a press on nail, okay? You don't need no glue at all. Make sure that you file your nails down. It could be with a fingernail file or the drill that I'm using. Again, this drill came from Amazon. But you just want to make sure that your um, nail don't have any type of shine. And also make sure you wipe off that excess dust. I ended up using an alcohol wipe just so that I wouldn't have to use that acetone again. Okay. I'm going back in with my drill to make sure that I take care of these cuticles. Because baby, he, these cuticles was looking Dusted and disgusted, okay? I just want to make sure that I drill the inside of the press on nail so that it can last a lot longer, okay? All right, so here comes the most important part. All you have to do guys is just make sure that you apply the base coat to your fingernail and also a little bit of base coat to the inside of the nail and then you just apply it to your nail. Now the only thing I would highly recommend, as y'all can see I have this UV light that's what shaped like a dome. I would recommend getting the UV light that like stands up almost like a light, you know, so that it's a little more easier for your fingernail um, to go under that light. But I also have um, fingernail what are they called like fingernail clamps to hold the nail down so I did also use some of those which I will see but sometimes you know if you're working with your left hand you might not be able to really work it that well so I just highly recommend if you are looking for a UV light get the UV light that stands and not the UV light that I have or just buy both of them the fingernail clamps also came off of Amazon which was included with the UV light because with the UV light, you had like this box and it was filled with all of this nail stuff, this nail art stuff. And it also came with the nail clamp. So if, again, if I find the link, I will make sure I drop it in the description box. First hand is complete and this is what my nails is working with and baby my nails ain't going nowhere okay they are stuck like chuck thanks to that base polish i'm never going to use glue again i'm only rocking with the base pop i can't can, can i say it the base the base the base <laughs> i'm only rocking with the base polish from here on out um now that i have these nails on before when I was using the glue it was just seemed like a hangnail was coming through like either on my pinky or my index or my thumb It was just crazy. It was just crazy what the glue was doing to my nail um, Especially like I said with the indent now that I have in my thumbs of course that will go away within time But it's here right now. So I feel like if I was using the base method before I probably wouldn't have went through these issues with my nails thanks to the the glue 
So this method, y'all, let me know. Drop a comment if you use this method or drop a comment if you are going to use this method. Because like I said, these nails is locked and secure. They ain't going nowhere. I don't have any cuticle oil, but coconut oil does its job, okay? So I'm just applying some coconut oil on my cuticles and my hands so they don't be ashy. So when I show y'all what my nails is really working with, y'all ain't going to be judging me. And here's the final look. I had to throw on some rings, okay? But this is the final look. Y'all can already see the ombre coming through. Um, I absolutely love my nails. I love the little rhinestones that I put on there. That's purple. This is absolutely gorgeous. Y'all, y'all need to stop going to the nail shop. Go ahead and just get you some nails and do your own press on nails. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Bye, guys.